All right, so let's go ahead and talk about transfer portal additions potentially here for the Kentucky Wildcats. Got a ton of information to dive into here. Let's start with the two that are not from BYU. Did not mean for that to rhyme. Javon Small, a guard from Oklahoma State, apparently is in contact with the Kentucky Wildcats. Javon Small, six foot four guard, again out of OSU. OSU, not a great team this past season, but when you look at Javon Small's numbers, you definitely start to see how he stands out relative to the rest of his team. He was the most dominant player in terms of possessions used last year for, for the Pokes. 25.4% of possessions he was utilized when he was on the court. court. Had a really solid true shooting percentage, um, pretty solid free throw rate, very solid assist rate. Let's dive deeper into what Javon Small is about here, though. Within Mark Pope's system, Javon Small fits the bill. Javon is an excellent three-point shooter, shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc this past season upgraded that from 33.3% at East Carolina just a season ago. So Kentucky would potentially be his third school in three seasons. He shoots 50, 52% at the left elbow, which is, which is just the left elbow, the free throw line 52% on a mid range jumper. That's 8% of his shots. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to hear me say something that I don't think I've said in the two and a half years that I've been doing this show. Javon Small, if he does come here, let him cook on mid-range jumpers. Let him cook. If you can hit a shot 52% of the time inside the arc as a guard, do it. If you can hit a shot 37% of the time from outside the arc as a guard, do it. I would ha- I would favor the three more than the two the two because it's not hard math. Three is more than two. You know this. I'm not I'm I'm not explaining anything new to you. But 52% at the left elbow is solid. Go look at the highlight tape. We'll discuss this further when when it comes to how Javon could be utilized because I think that Oklahoma State used him almost exclusively on ball. I think I think Small could work off ball, but there there's some really interesting things about his game here outside of the fact that he shoots really well on that particular mid-range jumper. He's only 50% at the rim, by the way. He shoots 52% at the left elbow. He shoots better away from the basket. And he's not not that bad at the basket either. The left elbow is only 8% of his shots, which just kind of fits perfectly into my narrative of, unless you're statistically efficient at it, don't take mid-range jumpers where small would be an exception. And I I think that in his offense, in Mark Pope's offense, you would get to see him utilized in that way. Javon Small, I think, would be allowed to take mid-range jumpers because unlike somebody like Nate Oates, who just says, do away with the the, the mid-range jumper almost entirely, like completely no mid-range shots, unless your name's Aaron Estrada, uh, in which case you do it anyway and you miss. BYU allowed their guys to take shots at the elbows at the a step away from the block. They allowed guys to take those shots within their offense, even though they were extremely three point heavy. So I think Javon small here would fit perfect in the, he has the small sample size of incredibly efficient shooting in the mid range. He's a good three point shooter on top of that. He's a primary, he, he's primarily on ball. If you want to look at just his, is just his counting stats, 15.1 points per game, 4.1 assists per game, 4.7 rebounds per game. He shot 44.1% from the floor. All of those are not bad. The big issue here with Javon is that he averaged 3.1 turnovers per game at Oklahoma state. You'd like to see that number go down just a little bit. I can see just by the way that he handles the ball and the way that he operates in the offense. This would, this is not a shock to me. Just based on his highlight, highlight really never got to see him actually turn the ball over in some of these videos, but it makes sense. He fits. He he definitely does fit as as a as a guard. And I want to give a comp in just a second, but one more thing here. Statistically, and you can see this in his film as well, he is more consistent in catch and shoot situations as opposed to shots off the dribble coming off of ball screens. Uh, so when you watch him in the pick and pop game. Uh, he he's really, really good at, at knocking down some of those outside shots. He's more consistent of a shooter that way. But that does not mean that he is a bad shooter off the dribble. It just means more often than not, I think when you watch small, if he's coming off, he, if he's coming off of, of a ball screen, you want to utilize him in one of three different ways. You want him to be passing the ball to someone else off of Mark Pope's actions, which we will dive into again, probably at some point this week and probably a dozen times 
uh, over the over the course of the year before the season actually starts. You would want him passing the ball. You would want him driving to the rim, which is where thirty five percent of his shots came last season, um, and he was he was effective there. Fifty percent is is not terrible for a guard. It's it's good. Or you would want him hitting that mid range elbow shot. You would you would want him more likely uh, more more often than not instead of taking that outside shot penetrating and trying to work some sort of offense off of that. More often than not, my guess is that it would the answer to that question would be passing out, kicking out to another shooter. Because of how often utilized, or Javon Small was utilized on ball, you're going to see him in those situations a ton coming off of screens. Um, and BYU loves to run that type of like zoom action, so I think that you could see Small a lot here. But just to, just to recap very briefly, good three-point shooter, Shoots well in the mid range, um, shoots well at the rim. Um, is is a he also has a very high assist rate as well. I I, I didn't put that there. Twenty six point six percent assist rate, which was one hundred thirty fourth nationally last year. That's very good. That's very solid. Um, it, he is eerily similar to a to a guard that Mark Pope has had previously. And that's a guy that's also in the portal that Kentucky may be interested in, and that is Dallin Hall. This right here is almost a Dallin Hall kind of remake. If you want to go look at Javon Small's uh, Kim Palm stats compared to Dallin Hall, it's, it's, it's quite fascinating. So I'll pull this up here for you. Dallin Hall had a 115.8 offensive rating. Javon Small only had 106.7, but that's kind of where the uh, the differences start to... Uh, or That's kind of where the, the only differences, differences are. True shooting. Dallin Hall, 55.2%. Javon Small, 58.9%. Dallin Hall. Assist rate, 27.9%. Like I mentioned, Javon Small, 26.6%. Javon Small, also 37.4% three-point shooter. Dallin Hall, 36% three-point shooter. Pretty similar there. The only difference uh, uh, outside of offensive rating is that Dallin also uh, is not a great foul line shooter and Javon Small shot 86.6%. But they have, they have a similar assist rate, a similar outside shot rate. They're utilized similarly on possessions. They have a similar frame. They do similar things in the mid-range. They, uh, Excuse me, Javon Small shoots 50% from inside the arc. Dallin Hall shoots... 50% from inside the arc. I mean, they're, they're, they're utilized very similar. They're utilized very similarly. And they have similar frames. I, I would like to see Javon Small come and play at Kentucky. I think that he, I think that he would be good, and he would fill a similar need to what Dallin Hall ha, uh, filled last season uh, in Provo. The other big name I want to talk about here is Amari Williams out of Drexel. This is a big man with some actual size. Amari Williams listed at 6 foot 10, 265 pounds. He's a senior. He is an experienced physical big man. Top 40 in the nation in block percentage at 8.5%. Top 65 in the nation in offensive rebound percentage. Top 30 in defensive rebound percentage. He shot 52% from inside the arc, which is not phenomenal, but if you go and watch his game, you'll understand that Amari does some different things for Drexel that you normally wouldn't see out of a 6 foot 10 to 265 guy. He's not just a back to the basket post up type of dude, which he definitely can excel at. He also was very comfortable taking some shots higher up in the paint and in and around the paint. He was not just exclusively back you down with 265, get you to the rim for a layup. He was good on, he was solid uh, in the, kind of almost in the mid-range, uh, pulling up from different spots. Uh, you could also see uh, just how physical he was on putbacks. He scored a lot on putbacks last season. He was utilized on 31.8% of possessions for Drexel last year. So maybe you make him into little a little more of a team player this year, is my guess. Uh, but he also, something else that you have to add, 17% assist rate. That's also very solid for a big man as well. He's good getting to the foul line. Um, he's not a phenomenal foul line shooter, but you look at his overall stats over the past two years, just very, three years even, very consistent. 
Nine and a half points as a sophomore, 13.7 as a junior, and then 12.2 as a senior, shooting 52, 52, 52% in three straight years uh, from the floor. Does not take outside shots, and, and I say he doesn't. He was one of three from beyond beyond the arc this past year. Also averaged 7.3, 8.8, and 7.8 rebounds in three seasons uh, at Drexel. Uh, versatile big man. Very solid player overall. I think he's somebody that Kentucky could definitely take a look at alongside Javon Small. Javon Small. And then let's go quickly here through the three BYU players. Ali Khalifa uh, is currently down to three schools, Kentucky, Louisville, and BYU. Uh, Khalifa, obviously, uh, one, of the, one of those other big men in the portal that may be the best passing big men uh, in the entire country. Also a, uh, a respectable outside shooter as well. Jackson Robinson, six foot seven guard uh, out, from, out of Provo, the Cougs. Uh, according to uh, according to various sources, he could be somebody that Mark Pope brings in pretty quickly here over the next few days. He posted Pope's press conference on his Instagram story. Could see him here. And then Dallin Hall from BYU. He did not include Kentucky in his final schools whenever he put out his list. So Dallin Hall out of the game here. Maybe Javon Small can be uh, somebody that kind of uh, you know takes over uh, for that Dallin Hall position, I, I guess I could say. So uh, 